In this video, we're going to be unboxing a 1979 Yamaha SG2000. And we're starting right now. What's up, guys? Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your type of thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So I've been checking out these guitars since about 2010. Obviously, I've got a first act custom shop double cut, which was based on this guitar. I've never actually seen or held a Yamaha SG in real life. I've obviously seen them in videos, obviously found them very intriguing. Now, this one cost just over a thousand bucks, which is really cheap for an SG2000, especially a late 70s version. Usually they float in that $1,500 to $2,000 range, um, but I've been hesitant over the years to grab one for that price. But when I saw this one right around that $1,000 price point, I decided to grab it. So let's cut open this box and see what's inside. Hopefully the deal wasn't too good to be true. So as you can see, it did ship with the original uh, Yamaha case. It was packed up very well. All right, guys, so here we have it. This is a 1979 Yamaha SG2000. They were made from about 1976. 1988 originally they have more recently been reissued but what you've got here is a neck through design you can see the neck is three pieces with a piece of maple down the center mahogany laminate on each side and then you've got these two big wings of mahogany that are both then laminated to that large center section which runs about here you can see it's got a three-piece maple cap which also you can kind of see where the center section is there. This particular model has a sustain block under the bridge, which is brass, which was meant to increase the weight and sustain of the guitar. Obviously, for a guitar to have good sustain, typically it has to be very rigid and stiff, which obviously the neck through design is going to aid. It does have a bit of what he called blushing on the back, so you can see paint not looking great on the back side for sure uh, but it looks pretty good on the front uh, the pick guard is raised you've got the um, this is the original neck pickup which is supposedly Alnico 5 and this is a Seymour Duncan in the bridge you've got uh, the fretboard is ebony with these mother of pearl split inlays obviously this guitar is extremely reminiscent of my first act custom shop double cut and of course this is actually the guitar those guitars were based off of body shape is not identical it's close i would say the double cut has a larger bottom half to the body the first act does this guitar is a bit heavier that guitar probably weighs nine and a half pounds nine and a quarter this being ten and a quarter neck size is Kind of slim taper, it's definitely not a medium C. I would say it's a little less substantial than I had expected, uh, but it does feel good. It kind of gets bigger as you get lower and feels good down here. It does feel very similar to the first act down by the uh, what would be the heel, but obviously it is neck through. You've got tuners that are reminiscent of Grover's. It's got binding all over it and looks really cool so i'm gonna get this thing set up i've got these old first act pickups that i'm gonna drop in it 
should end up looking pretty cool, I think. And we're going to set it up in C standard. But for now, that's what we got. I'm looking forward to just tuning it up and trying it out. So, yeah, if there's a guitar that you've always been interested in but never been able to get your hands on, let me know. This is definitely one of those guitars for me. For more of my content, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at Does It Doom for more videos just like this. You can check out either of these two YouTube cards. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, you can do so by clicking this button. So until next time, always remember Tony Iommi is your.